Robots will now take their place beside the city's men and women in blue. CBS2 political reporter Marcia Kramer shows us the mayor says he is combing the world for the latest technology to put the NYPD at the forefront of fighting crime. From a galaxy far away, or at least Times Square, the NYPD enters the 21st century with crime fighting robots to patrol subway stations or the crossroads of the world. Not only does this robot sound an alarm, but it can also send messages. Yes, it can really talk, either to people who need help or to the bad guys. Hello, Mayor Adams. We are here to get stuff done. But that's not all. There's also a star chase system that avoids dangerous car chases by attaching a GPS tag either by mounted or handheld launchers. And a robotic device called a DigiDog, which is designed to assist the NYPD in investigating high risk or hazardous incidents. We want the public to know that the use of these technologies will be transparent, consistent, and always done in collaboration with the people that we serve. The commissioner responding to intense community backlash the first time the NYPD tried to use the futuristic DigiDog during the de Blasio administration. Some described it as a manifestation of overly aggressive police tactics used in poor communities. I believe that technology is here. Uh, we cannot be afraid of it. And as the commissioner stated, uh, transparency is the key. A number of groups attacked the city's latest foray into the 21st century, including Communities United for Police Reform, which said, quote, we need to invest in housing, education, mental health care, and community programs that will keep us safe, not investment in new and expensive technologies to criminalize us further. If we were not willing to move forward and use technology on how to properly keep cities safe, then you will not keep up with those who are doing harmful things to hurt New Yorkers. The NYPD insisted the Digi Dogs would never carry weapons or be used for surveillance. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.